Hey, what's up guys? DJ Man, I'm AD. I know it's been a very, very long time that I haven't done a tutorial, so I'm just going to do a quick tutorial about um, busing and um, and compression and just try trying new things. Uh, before we continue, just please do me a favor and do remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and most importantly, any topics that you guys would love for me to talk about, just leave it in the comments below. All right, uh, make sure to follow me on all the social media. Just search DJ Matt. I'm very excited because I just got certified and Twitter finally yes next up Instagram Facebook and all that stuff so just look for me Google me and you'll find me all right so um I got this really cool track right here I want to play for you guys it's just a simple simple loop I started working on this with machine uh, you can see I got machine right here and I got the patterns um, yeah I got the patterns right here Okay, so I got the patterns right there. I was just muting stuff because there was actually stuff leaking. And um, I always love our color coordinating things. So let me bring back the, the mixer right here. So um, oh, let, me, let me go right here because I'm, I'm using this whole situation thing right here. So uh, whatever, you, you get it. So we got this thing right here, right? And um, what we want to do is, like, for example, I got like three claps right here. So I got three claps. So I want to start buzzing stuff. And, and um, you know, for those of you guys that don't really understand about buzzing tracks and stuff like that, it's very important for you guys to separate your, um, your sounds and compress them individually. Like, for example, I got three claps right here. And I, you know, I would recommend for you guys, if you got more than one clap, uh, make sure you send it to a buzz and and compress them together before you send it to to everything else So right now I got all the three claps all together and what I would do here. I would um, I will compress them so in this case I will go to Let's go to the C2 compressor C2. Yeah by fat filter. I mean you can use any compressor of your liking I just you know right now. I'm just trying whatever and let's try to get like a decent sound so now we can get like a decent mix on it okay, that sounds that sounds decent and now we're gonna glue it together by looking for a uh, mix buzz we definitely don't want that we want like drums uh claps is it like a claps uh, let's go with the snare one uh natural sustain nice and thick snare snap okay so now we could bring down the 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 threshold So A and B A. Alright, so it sounds more more together. And then the next thing that I would do on, on, on this buzz would be let's bring this editor. Uh, is to uh, cut the low frequencies. Uh, this right here, I'm going to change the the the, the signal flow. Uh, if you guys if you guys use Cubase, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The signal flow is basically the strip goes first, and then the inserts go last. So I want the inserts to um, to work last. So it, this EQ is going to work in first. I'm going to do a low cut of 48. All right, so that's what I will, I will work with. The next thing that I would do in this would be to send it, send it to to the drums bus, which would be right here, which is the one next to it, and I will send everything else that belongs there. So all of these belong in the drum bus. Oh, percussion, whatever you want to call it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to change it to percussion. 
perk. So basically what I'm doing is I, I am mixing everything that, 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 that goes with each other by itself and then at the end I will mix everything together. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a very good technique that a lot of engineers use. I would say most engineers, professional engineers, they use this technique uh, so they could clean up things and, and, um, and everything could be a little more organized. Instead of you having a thousand faders, now you're minimizing them uh, to one fader. So in, on this case, I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to clean up the, the bottom end like any, any hum. So I'm going to, um, what's going on here? Okay. So I'm going to roll off some some of that bottom. See, there's, there's no information there, only that. That is just straight rumble, so we're just going to take that out. And we're going to turn this on. No, I think I'm just going to use this one. Okay, and then the next thing, I'm going to change the signal flow. And I'm going to use a compressor, which um, let's go over here. That's a really cool compressor that I just right now I'm really really loving. It's one of my favorite compressors. It's called the uh, the the Manic compressor. This thing is just beast. Um, this reminds me if, uh, for all you Logic users. This reminds me of Logic's uh, native compressor, um, stock compressor, or native, whatever you want to call it. Um, the, the brand new one, Logic 10, not 9. Logic 10 has a compressor that has all these settings, which is a clean, uh, sheer, uh, greedy, digital, vintage, smooth. It's all the same. You know, they're all model after different things. So, on this one, I want to look for a, for a drum buzz, and I want to glue these things up together. So it's kind of, it's doing kind of like a New York compression, which is uh, parallel compression. They call it New York compression, but some people, but the the correct term is parallel compression, which is there's some wet information and there's some dry information. Oh, actually, uh, in the, in this preset, the the dry information is not turned on. But if I was to turn it on. That would be some um, some parallel compression, but we we don't want to do that. So I don't know if you could tell, but I could definitely tell that it just brings everything you know towards the front, and and it sounds all glued up and all uh, on one level. So when we play it together. So now this is the part where we actually raise the, you know, raise it up a little bit so we could get a better mix. That sounds pretty cool. There's actually an element the that's supposed to go there that I didn't put there, which is this thing right here. That's supposed to go in there too. So let's put that in there. So now let's send the kick to its own bus. You see it right there. I, I, I don't have any bass in this session as of yet. I'm just, you know, showing you guys what I usually do on on, on final stages. Um, you should, but sometimes I like to do this, you know, when I have a nice groove. So when I do start adding and arranging and stuff like that, I have a decent mix and I'm, I'm I am able to groove a little better than 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 the norm, you know. 
now some of you may say oh you know but you're too hot whatever where well, i am working on 64 bit um so this is why i'm busting everything and then at the end i am having a pre-master bus which is right here so i'll be able to lower this down and i'm not going to have that much of a problem as long as i'm not peeking on any other tracks i know that i'm already peeking right here but if i were to lower the this thing right here i would be good uh i haven't bust everything yet so uh, let me change this to effects. Leads. Uh -huh. Let's do that like that. And let's send that effect to the effects channel. So, as of right now, everything is being sent to, to all these puppies right here. Everything's being buzzed. That's what, that's what I meant to say earlier. So if you want to slow the volume, you know, you can just grab all all of these right here. And now you have all that headroom, that 60B of, of headroom that, that you actually need so you can mix. Remember, guys, when you are mixing a record, uh, when it's... It's better for you to lower all the faders before you. Um, th there's one thing that I definitely did wrong right here, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna catch myself. Um, I was supposed to lower all these faders first before I started compressing over here. So um, now, if I wanted to lower all these faders, I'm gonna have to redo this whole part of the compression that I did. So, because I don't wanna do that, and I am not peeking on any of the tracks right here that you see, um, what I did was I just grabbed all the buses. Uh, if you're in Logic, it'll be an auxiliary, or if you're in uh, Ableton, it'll be a group. I grab all the groups, buses, or whatever you want to call them, and I lower them down. So basically, the main master bus there's no, it's not peaking, and like you can see over here, I have about six dBs of headroom, or maybe five to six dBs of headroom, and that way I don't have to uh, redo this compression that I did earlier. So uh, we're going, we're doing pretty good. And usually, like to finalize the whole situation, what I would do, I will add a compressor here, which um, I really, really, really like using this. Um, the, the the manic I think it's called but you know what let's uh, let's just use something else uh, well this is definitely not a bus compressor so mm -hmm. let's look for anything vintage compressor whatever this is no definitely want to use that that's not for that so uh, let's just put a, a manic compressor doesn't matter just for the for the sake of moving forward. And on this one, I will do a bus, and I will try some of these, in, you know, to see um, which one sounds the best. Uh, master transparent. Let's see what's that. Uh, see how the other one sound. So basically, now, right now, I'm doing that whole New York uh, parallel compression, which is uh, I'm getting wet and dry signal, uh, part of the wet and the dry signal. And if I were to switch them around, see, they, they both link by hitting this button. And when I put one down, the other one goes up, uh, making up for the volume loss. So in this case, I will uh, bring down the ratio a little bit. I, I want to go with the vintage. I want to get that dirty, you know, garage sound. Bring down the threshold so I can give a little more. I'm sorry, bring up the threshold. We definitely got a little more power. <clears throat> Alright guys, I uh, hope you guys learned something. And uh, keep on mixing. DJ Matt, signing off.